Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna have a conversation about how to use Aim Assist effectively at EZFN. I've been seeing a lot of your comments about, hey, I'm really struggling on getting my aim right. It just feels like I can't hit anything. And the most likely cause is probably gonna be the L2 cooldown. The L2 cooldown exists in era season seven and it's the exact same situation where if you tap L2, you know, aim in and out too quickly, you will disable the snap on effect and then your aim will be wildly inconsistent. Let me show you a clip of that now. Okay, this is a demonstration of the L2 cooldown in EZFN, as you can see. Tap, get a snap, tap, get a snap. Just spam too quick, no snap, no snap, no snap, no snap. But if I wait for, say, five seconds, tap, get a snap, tap, get a snap. So you, can, you can't go too fast. You spam, nothing will work. You have to go slow. Now, despite this, that does not mean you should completely not use L2 at all, because you can still get some crazy clips like these. Oh! I l would someone! Oh, nice. Oh. I only oh my one god. god. I only <laughs> one god. Now let's have a conversation about how you work around this issue. You know, there are three main methods of using L2 aim assist. I call them the close range spamming method, where you take like an SMG or AR close range and you just spam the trigger as quick as you can, in and out, in and out, to get as many snap-ons as possible. The second method is the close range tap, or say you have your shotgun, and then you tap L2 to aim it right before you shoot. And the third method is a long range tap, where you're hip fire aiming and then tapping right before you shoot to get a snap on. Starting out with that first method, close range spamming, I basically would say you can't use that method really at all, because this moment you tap L2 for the second time, you're just gonna disable your snap on, and then every subsequent tapping of aim in is gonna do absolutely nothing. So really the rule is with the SMG or AR close range, you know, you press left trigger once to aim in and you stay aimed in. Maybe after one second you can untap, retap, but if you tap too quickly, you're gonna disable it. So generally rule of thumb is just stay aimed in. It's just the nature of, if you try and use L2 with that method, it's just gonna be way too inconsistent. The second method, which is the close range tap, all this method is, is you pull out your shotgun and right before you fire, you tap L2 once to get the snap on and then you're done. Right, this is slightly affected because of double pump, because double pump, the second shotgun might trigger the L2 cooldown, but the first shotgun won't. So if you're good at hitting that first shot, you know, tapping L2, getting a snap on, lining up a big hit, and then building a wall, it's unaffected. You know, you can use that method exactly as you did before. And because the pump with one shotgun fires so slowly anyway, it's effectively irrelevant with the cooldown. Double pump complicates the situation as if you you know, shoot once and then try and shoot with the second pump and aim in again, you might trigger the cooldown depending on how fast you can switch pumps. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it's just a reality we have to deal with. And finally, the third method, which is the long range tapping method. The long range tapping method I still think is very effective, but you have to slow down, right? If you use it with a standard AR and you tap every time first shot accuracy resets, that's likely gonna be too quick. It will, it will probably time out. Even with the heavy AR, I also think it'll probably time out. You just have to do it a lot slower. You have to purposely slow down your shots and it should work. With the hand cannon, hand cannon should be basically unaffected because it fires so slowly. So the point is, slow down your rate of fire and the long range tapping method will still work and it still can be very, very powerful. And with that, I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.